there's a lot of buzz going around due to the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. The Lok Sabha elections are a vital part of India's democratic process, allowing citizens to choose their representatives. But when did it all start? Let's travel back in time to know about the first Lok Sabha elections and how they shaped India's political landscape. In 1947, India gained independence from British rule, marking the end of a long struggle for freedom. The leaders of the newly independent country had a big dream to build India into a sovereign democratic republic. To achieve this, it was essential to give the power of decision-making to the people. This led to the idea of holding general elections where every adult could vote regardless of their background, wealth or education. This was a huge step forward, especially at a time when many countries still restricted voting by wealth, education or gender. Before the elections could take place, there was a lot of preparation needed. The Election Commission was formed in January 1950 with a huge task of organizing elections. This was no easy feat because at that time India was a vast and diverse country with millions of eligible voters. Many among them were illiterate, making the process even more challenging. The Election Commission had to ensure that everyone understood how to vote, regardless of whether they could read or write. To tackle this, they used symbols for political parties, a simple but effective solution. For example, a party might have a lamp or bicycle as its symbol, making it easier for everyone to recognize and vote for their preferred party, even if they could not read the party's name. The scale of the first Lok Sabha elections were massive. It was conducted from October 25, 1951 to February 21, 1952. Imagine over 173 million people, more than the entire population of many countries, eligible to vote across thousands of polling stations. It was the largest election process the world had seen up to the point. Voting in the first Lok Sabha elections was a unique experience for many. For the first time, people from all walks of the life, rich or poor, educated or not, had the opportunity to have a say in the future of their country. They cast their votes on paper ballots, which were then dropped into the boxes. This simple act was a powerful expression of democracy, bringing a sense of pride and responsibility to millions. The Indian National Congress, led by Jawaharlal Nehru, emerged victorious, winning a majority of the seats. This victory paved the way for Nehru to become the first Prime Minister of India. The Congress Party's victory was a reflection of its central role in the fight for independence and its vision for a united and democratic India. The successful conduct of the elections and the resultant formation of the Lok Sabha was a testament to the strength of India's democratic foundations. It set a precedent not just for India but for the entire world, showcasing that democracy could thrive in diverse and populous nations. The first Lok Sabha elections were more than just a political event. They were a celebration of democracy and freedom. They showed the world that India was ready to take its place as a sovereign democratic republic where the power truly lay in the hands of people. The historic event marks the beginning of India's ongoing journey as the world's largest democracy. Over the years, the Lok Sabha elections have become a cornerstone of India's democratic process, empowering citizens to shape the future of their country through their votes. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.